we now have Amy Klobuchar uh, to undergo vetting to be Biden's running mate. Amy Klobuchar, Democrat of Minnesota, has been asked by Joe Biden to undergo a formal vetting to be considered as his VP, one of several potential contenders now being scrutinized by his aides. The request for information from potential running, running mates like Klobuchar is underway, a senior Biden campaign aide says. If a potential contender consents, she would be, she would be uh, poised to undergo a rigorous multi-week review of her public and private life and work by a hand-picked group of Biden confidants who will review tax returns, public speeches, voting records, past relationships, and potentially scandalous details from her past. So this is not a surprise. I don't want to, you know, do a victory lap here, but I've been saying for weeks it's going to be Amy Klobuchar. I want to, before I get into my analysis of this and why he's definitely going to pick Amy Klobuchar, I want to remind you how Republican Amy Klobuchar is. Because I don't really think people, they get the way she talks is very um, centrist, right-wing. But I want to remind you that if you look away from the screen, Amy Klobuchar doesn't sound a lot different than Paul Ryan. And I'm going to play you this now. Let's take a look. I just don't agree with these policies, and I also think that they know that they most likely won't go through because they don't make any sense when you really take down the um, uh, veneer and get them off a bumper sticker and start looking at them, but they just keep promising it. And I just don't agree. I actually don't agree because I think it's not their best policy. They may be bold ideas. I think they're bad ideas, and there's a better way to do this. So if they're really talking to go through then why, why promise you? Because people like it. They like to hear that they're going to get everything free. Right? They like it. That's how Andrew Yang started his speech at the a debate, was about giving people free $1,000. So, you know, it is, and that was from his campaign directly. So that is a lot of what the discussion is right now. And I think people know that we've got to make the economy work better for them. And so to me, this isn't necessarily about a free college or a free degree. It's about how can you help people afford the education that they want on the path they want and have it fit with our economy. Doesn't that kind of sound like, you know, the good old days with Paul Ryan? Why I think that it is very likely Amy Klobuchar will be the vice president to Biden is very simple. Strategically, strategically, and structurally, Biden's campaign is actually run by a lot of the same people that were around Hillary Clinton in 2016. They just still think. Those people don't really think they did that much wrong. They think they lost because of James Comey. So they don't really think their strategy was wrong. They don't really think just running on Trump is the Antichrist is a bad strategy. They think that strategy was actually going to be victorious. It's just... But James Comey came out 10 days before the election and screwed Hillary. That's what they think. Because she ha Joe Biden's got people from Biden, uh, Obama's world, from Hillary's world, all running his campaign. And they all have one major delusion. You want to know what that delusion is, folks? It's this fantasy image of a moderate Republican sitting on his porch in, in Michigan and Wisconsin and Pennsylvania and Ohio. It's that holy, sac sacred, very valuable moderate Republican that will become so fed up with Donald Trump, so fed up with Donald Trump telling, it, telling people to inhale. What did he tell people to inhale? Laundry detergent? Lysol and bleach. So fed up with Donald Trump, you know, threatening to take away Michigan's funding because Michigan dares tell him to wear a mask. So fed up with Donald Trump's hysterical, lunatic tweeting. So fed up with Donald Trump's um, just totally inappropriate, reckless, racist, xenophobic, everything. And finally, see the light that even though Biden's not Trump, that he's more acceptable. They are this delusional that they think 
the, the, the way to victory is not to actually give progressives what we want, the, the things that actually poll very well, the things that would actually get Democrats elected on over and over again if they just ran on it and gave it to us. They think that they, there is enough scorned Trumpers, moderate Republicans, never Trumpers. They think Amy Klobuchar, because of that clip I just played you and her obviously being a Republican, oh, people just want free stuff. And oh, I think it's bold to be an incrementalist. They think Amy Klobuchar can win enough moderate Republicans in Michigan, Wisconsin, Ohio, um, Ohio, Pennsylvania, possibly Iowa, to beat Trump. Meaning, even if we don't get enough progressives, even if we don't get enough young people, even if we don't get enough Latinos, we'll have... They take for granted the black vote. They think we'll just have Obama go out as much as humanly possible. He'll galvanize the black vote to come out. We'll have more black voters than Hillary did because Obama is going to go much harder this time. This is what they think. So we could take for granted the black vote. We don't need to pick Kamala Harris, Stacey Abrams, or any other African-American woman. I don't support any of those women either, but... And they think Amy Klobuchar... She doesn't scare old white people and old, white, moderate Republicans and never Trumpers. They'll feel comfortable with Amy Klobuchar. Why this is so bad crazy. Yes, Amy does have some racial problems, including arresting a black man uh, wrongly who has been in prison uh, wrongly convicted, which will be a problem for her if she's chosen. But... Why this is so crazy? Moderate Republicans don't vote on moral character. If they did, they wouldn't be Republicans. Moderate Republicans don't vote based on, you know, Trump going too far. Moderate Republicans don't vote based on, oh, well, you know, Biden ain't a Republican, but he's better than Trump. You want to know why? Because there's no such thing as a moderate Republican anymore. There's no such thing as a moderate Republican. Yeah, um, you know, you have Republicans that aren't as aren't as right as like the Steve Kings of the world, not as racist. But moderate Republicans are a small, small group of people. But the Democratic Party is delusional enough. Remember when Chuck Schumer said. You know, for every, what was it, for every two blue-collar workers we lose, here he is, for every blue-collar Democrat we lose in western Pennsylvania, we'll pick up two moderate Republicans in the suburbs in Philadelphia. And you could repeat that in Ohio and Illinois and Wisconsin. Well, Chuck, how did it work out for you? How's those moderate Republicans at your dinner table? There's no such thing as a moderate Republican anymore. That was gone after the 1990s. So you're going to pick Amy Klobuchar. And guess what? I mean, listen, everything, everything, throw everything out if unemployment goes to 30%. I mean, today we see jobless claims almost at 39 million. If this continues... I mean, possibly Joe Biden in a coma could defeat Donald Trump if these numbers continue. And it won't even matter who he picks as vice president. A comatose Joe Biden with sexual assault allegations against him, with barely constructing a sentence, literally comatose, if these numbers get worse, could defeat Donald Trump. Comatose, Comatose, excuse me. But... I already said, because the Democratic Party has given Trump the opportunity and the opening to do this, does anyone truly believe if Donald Trump looks like he's going to lose come July or August, if he's down in the polls considerably, do they really think if Trump thinks he's going to lose that he won't just throw up his hands and say, fuck it, Medicare for all, right now, people need it. Right now, we've got 27 million people that have lost their employer-sponsored health care. 
By summer, it could be closer to 40 million people who lose their employer-sponsored health care. That wonderful health care that Pete Buttigieg and Amy and Joe, they all told me, people love their private health care in America. People are dying for their private health care in America. People don't want to take have it ripped out of their hands, the co-pays and the deductibles and the co-insurance and the premiums. They need the choice. Well... The choice has been made for 27 million people so far. So one study, the Kaiser Family Foundation found that 27.5 million people have lost their employer-sponsored health insurance. Trump will throw Medicare for All at you. He'll throw UBI at you. And you want to know something? Mitch McConnell will go along with it. Why? Because Mitch McConnell's main priority is the Supreme Court and stacking the federal judiciary all, excuse me, stacking the judiciary, the judiciary with conservatives across the nation. He's already done a hell of a job. He wants to do more. And you really can't do that if you have a Democrat in the White House. Ruth Bader, you know, frankly, Mitch McConnell sees, love you, but RBJ, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, RBG, let's just call it what it is. She's not young. She's been in the hospital for a variety of things. Other Supreme Court justices, not so young anymore. And you want to know something? If Trump says, to hell with it, we're going to expand Medicare for everyone right now. If Trump gives $2,000 a month, steals Bernie's idea and just claims it as his own, will people really care what his motivation is? Will people really care if he means it? Or will people say, whatever, he's doing it. Somebody's doing something for us. I'm going to give him another shot. Give him another try. And the Democrats are giving Trump the opportunity to do that by proposing crumbs. Crumbs. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as 5 to $10 a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you. Oh.